In today's video, we're going to explore the role of luck in Warhammer 40,000, specifically focusing on the impact of dice rolls and randomness. If you often feel in your games like you don't understand what's happening and why all your dice rolls are so bad, what can you do about that? That's a video for you. In Warhammer 40,000, dice play a crucial role in determining the outcomes of battles, as you know, adding an element of unpredictability to every game. From movement to shooting to psychic powers and close combat, dice rolls can make or break your strategy, making it essential to understand their impact. Dice rolls influence all aspects of the game, such as movement phase when you're advancing, shooting in close combat hit rolls, wound rolls, armor saves, invulnerable saves, psychic powers, deny the witch tests, morale, and so on and so forth. While it's true that luck plays a part in every game, skilled players know how to manage and minimize the risks associated with randomness. This includes understanding the odds, making informed decisions, and adapting to the unpredictable nature of the game. By bracing and learning to navigate the uncertainty, you can become a more consistent and successful 40k player. If you've been following professional and experienced players, you will rarely hear them complaining about dice because they know that even though they might have been unlucky at the start of the game, the luck will always come back because that's how statistics work. The key aspect of managing luck in 40k is understanding probability. Knowing the odds of different outcomes helps you make informed decisions and weigh risks more effectively. Alright, let's talk about some basic math. Um, your brain will not fry, I promise you. We'll keep it simple and relatable, so don't worry. By understanding the odds, you make better decisions and take more calculated risks during your games. Let's start with a standard six-sided dice, or so-called d6. So, to find the probability of rolling a specific number, just divide one by the total number of sides. In this case, uh, rewards of rolling, for example, a 4 on the dice, specifically a 4, not 4+, plus, which is anything that's 4 or higher, uh, are 1 in 6, which is about 16.67%. Easy enough, right? Now let's apply this to 40k. Imagine you need to roll a 4 plus or higher to hit your target. This means that you have three successful outcomes available, 4, 5, or 6 out of 6 possible results. To find the probability, just divide the number of successful outcomes by the total possible number of outcomes, which is 3 divided by 6, which is 0.5 or 50%. That's why, for example, a 4 plus invulnerable save is such a great thing, but such an unpredictable one, because you uh, are destined to roll about half of your successes but sometimes all of those successes will come in one string and that's why sometimes your opponent might start tearing their hair out of their head modifiers can also impact the probability if you have a weapon that hits on the three plus but has a minus one modifier to hit for some reason like lightning fast reflexes for example you'd actually need a roll of four plus or higher to hit your target just like in our previous example the probability of success remains the same 50 percent rerolls are another important factor if you can reroll failed hit rolls your chances of success increase dramatically Using our earlier example with a 50% chance to hit and the ability to reroll failures, your success jumps to 75%. 50% success on the first roll, plus 50% of the remaining 50% on the reroll, which is 25. Now that you've got a handle on probability and basic math, let's talk about how to reduce our reliance on dice rolls. Let's go over some strategies that will help you rely less on the dice rolls and improve your overall performance. First up, consider building redundancy into your army list. We talked about that a lot on my channel. Just go and check out any of my how to play videos. There is a list at the end of each video, uh, which I propose. A lot of them are probably outdated because the rules are changing every 50 seconds, but the general basic idea will be there. That way, if one of your units fails, if you have redundancy or underperforms, you've got backups to keep your strategy on track. So never expect everything to go according to plan, because it probably will not. But remember, if you build in redundancy, it means that once your luck comes back, you can actually inflict even more damage than you expected to. Know what they say, don't put all your eggs in one basket. It works for 40k just for as for anything else. Next, prioritize reliable units and weapons in your army. Look for options with consistent performance, like weapons with high rate of fire, good ballistic skill, good strength, damage like d3 plus 3 instead of d6, where your minimum is 4 and maximum is 6, so the uh, variability is not so big, or units with invulnerable saves if you are looking for durability. 
by choosing units that perform well under pressure, you are less likely to be at mercy of unlucky dice rolls. Another important strategy is maximizing synergy between your units. Make your units complement each other's abilities and can support one another on the battlefield, like the characters that you have here uh, on your screen, the captain, our war boss, anyone. So they are meant to enhance your army and to make sure that, for example, if you cast guide on your Eldar uh, craft world guys, that they will perform much better than without that. They, you may hit with every single shot, even without rerolls, but how likely is that? Unlikely. This way, even if one of your unit falters, the others can pick up the slack and help you maintain control of the game. Lastly, don't forget about the command reroll, one of the most important strategies in the entire game. Uh, these can be your life savers when it comes to mitigating bad dice rolls. Use the command point reroll wisely to reroll critical hit, wound, save roll, especially if you feel like that might be the end of your opponent's shooting phase and there is like a dreadnought you have on, on one less wound and you have a tech marine in your army and you really want that dreadnought to, to survive in order to use that synergy that you have with the tech marine next turn bumping up the wounds massively that's for example what i use with my death watch list currently i was on a tournament just yesterday and there was a situation where my dreadnought was on the verge of dying and i've used the command point reroll to try and save it in order to uh give my tech marine a chance to help him and restore some wounds also uh game-changing psychic power like a psychic action warp ritual last one you need to get more points or a crucial charge a nine inch or eight inch charge another important thing in terms of reliability is that you have to know which charges you're likely to make or not likely to make for example your game strategy cannot rely on nine inch charges even if you your units are very good otherwise in combat even if they are durable you should have other ways of reaching your opponent because the chances of you rolling nines are very low even with rerolls just remember to save those command points for when you really need them let's face it bad dice rolls are bound to happen but it's how you respond to them that can make all the difference here are some good tactics to help you bounce back from poor rerolls and stay competitive in your games first off be ready to adapt your strategy on the fly and if things aren't going as planned because of bad rolls don't be afraid to change your tactics look for alternative ways to achieve your objectives and switch your focus to another part of the battlefield where you have more control keep an open mind don't forget for example if your opponent turned on some defensive buffs is there another target you might want to engage instead with the rest of your shooting instead of pouring all that effort into this protected union when the dice aren't cooperating consider shifting your focus to objectives instead of combat killing your opponent remember you can still score victory points by capturing objectives completing actions fulfilling secondary missions sometimes playing the objective game can give you the edge you need to win even if your dice rolls are less than stellar don't underestimate the importance of terrain and cover they can help you mitigate the impact of poor rolls by providing protection from enemy firepower or giving your units a better vantage point use terrain to your advantage and make it harder for your opponent to target your key unit think about their next turn think about what they would want to achieve think about what you would not want to lose and that should help lastly sometimes you'll have to make calculated sacrifices this means that intentionally you're intentionally putting less valuable units in harm's way to protect your more important assets by doing this you can buy time for your stronger units and force your opponent to deal with the distractions you create now let's dive into the psychological side of things very important if you are planning to become a competitive player believe it or not you can actually influence your opponent's perception of luck during game here are some psychological tactics to help you gain an edge in turn the tides in your favor first up manage your reactions to dice rolls both good and bad try to stay calm and collected even when things aren't going your way this can make your opponent uncertain about your plans and can help prevent them from capitalizing on your setbacks bluffing and feigning confidence can also be powerful tools if you act like everything's going according to plan even when it's not you might be able to throw your opponents off guard because they might be thinking why is this guy not worried that i've just destroyed his very important unit maybe i'm shooting the wrong thing maybe he has something else planned they may second guess their own strategy which could create opportunities for you to exploit obviously this is not going to change the game on its own you have to actually have a tactical um, acumen strategy in your mind you have to have units on the board to accomplish that strategy with but still 
Finally, pay attention to your opponent's emotions and reactions. If they're getting frustrated or upset by their own dice rolls, capitalize on it. Apply pressure by focusing on their army's weak spots and making aggressive moves that force them to react. Remember, if your opponent is too focused on their own bad luck, they might not be thinking clearly about their own strategy. Obviously, these are some advice for competitive players. You don't want to be <laughs> trying to uh, make your friend who plays with you every week uh, hate playing against you that's that's only when uh, the victory is your most important goal and remember in any game of 40k your most important goal should be to enjoy it. as i mentioned earlier like will always be a factor in 40k but embracing the elements of like can actually make you a better player let's go over how to learn from your games and regardless of the outcome and develop a growth mindset after each game, take some time to analyze your decisions and identify areas for improvement. Ask yourself, what worked well, what didn't go as planned? Were there any critical moments where the outcome could have changed with a different decision? The self-reflection can help you refine your tactics and become a more skilled player. Remember, you can learn from both wins and losses. Don't be too hard on yourself if things don't go your way. It's just a game at the end of the day. Instead, focus on the lessons you can take away from each game and use them to grow as a player. Lastly, develop a growth mindset. This means embracing challenges, persisting in the face of setbacks and understanding that improvement comes with time and effort. By adopting this mindset, you'll enjoy the unpredictability of 40k and have more fun on your journey to become a formidable opponent. There you have it. By employing the strategy as we've discussed today, you can improve consistency, reduce the impact of dice rolls and become a better 40k player. Remember, practice makes perfect and with time, dedication, you'll be ready to face any challenge the game has to offer. Thank you for watching. I hope this video was useful for you. Please subscribe and I'll see you next time.